Well, let's talk about families, though, because we have this. This is a story from the New York Times. This is huge. Oklahoma lawmakers approve near total ban on abortion. The measure is part of a wave of stringent abortion restrictions enacted by legislators in Republican-led states. Lawmakers in Oklahoma on Tuesday approved a near total ban on abortion, making it the latest Republican-led state to forge ahead with these restrictions. The measure, Senate Bill 612, would make performing an abortion except to save the life of a pregnant woman in a medical emergency, a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison or a fine of $100,000. Now consider that in an emergency. That means the doctor can be like, we've determined that, you know, if you keep carrying this baby within the span of a month or two, you and the baby will die. And that's still not a valid reason to have an abortion. Unless, I guess you can argue that two months, that time duration, that duration uh, is not a contributing factor into whether it is or isn't an emergency. The felony goes to the doctor, not the mother. Yeah, so, that's right. Yes, performing the so abortion. So also when you're talking about... Um, these instances of medical necessity, oftentimes what they're referring to is procedures which are not actually technically abortions, mm. but could result in the death of the unborn child if they perform the operation to save the mother. So I'm curious to know which exceptions are actually being made. I think, check this out. This is really, really interesting. They say if the passage, uh, its passage came after Oklahoma became a major destination for women from Texas who were seeking yeah, abortions right. after that state enacted a law banning the procedure after about six weeks, a very early stage of pregnancy. If allowed to take effect, SB 612 would be devastating for both Oklahomans and Texans who continue to seek care in Oklahoma. A coalition of abortion rights groups, including the ACLU of Oklahoma and Oklahoma, call for reproductive justice, said in a statement. Nearly half of the patients Oklahoma providers are currently seeing are medical refugees from Texas. Now Oklahomans could face a future where they would have no place left in their state to go to seek this basic health care. I want to point out, man. I was, I was, I asked this question before. I want to avoid making very hard predictions, but I believe abortion may be a major catalyst for this, this looming civil war, or whatever conflict we're in. We're at the point now where it seems things have calmed down. There's a meme where it's like, where'd Antifa and BLM go? People must have not been paying their bills. And I'm just like, yo, it's winter. Come on, calm yeah, down. Yeah, they can't be out there now. It's too cold. Right. Summer is when things get crazy and they and they tend to. They only want to fight fascism when the weather's good. It's weird. But but also yeah, take a look at what's dresses. happening. But take a look at what's happening politically That's with like January 6th. Birkenstein. Filing Ooh. subpoenas against people. They're having to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to, to combat these subpoenas. They're being charged with contempt. So it's still very much hot in terms of some kind of escalating conflict. Now, with Oklahoma outright being, we've got too many refugees from Texas who want abortion, so we're going to ban it basically outright. This is going to be a major catalyst because at the same time this is happening, Colorado does the inverse. The right to abortion right. in Colorado is now guaranteed under state law with no restrictions. So my understanding is this is up to the point of birth. Is that it? Well, I read the law and there were no limits or restrictions. So probably... Right. I mean, there was there were no limitations at all. It was a four page law. Um, and yeah, it did not. <laughs> it didn't say that you couldn't have an abortion at any point. Blue states. There's 15 states that are similar. Colorado wanted to, Colorado said that they wanted to be a sanctuary state for abortion. And so did California. And both of those uh, California, I know, um, was putting money in place in order to help women who are poor get there so that they could have their pregnancies terminated in the mm -hmm. state. The, the, the point is there's no compromise on this issue at all yeah. anymore. There used to be. There used this, to be compromise. Uh, Tulsi yes. Gabbard saying safe, legal, and rare. That used to safe, be real. Legal, I feel like that was rare. even Bill Clinton. It that was. Was, oh, yeah. the, it was. was the old idea was but safe, where legal, we are, and rare. Where we are now is Oklahoma says no. Colorado says no problem. And there's like literally no middle ground of like, well, maybe there are some conversations we should have about medical issues. Nope. Well, well I think several years ago, a couple of years ago, remember, it started, I think it was Lindy West started saying, shout your abortion. And yes. there was this whole thing about like, be proud of it. And I think that totally backfired. You know, I personally have never been in favor of abortion, but I've been like, OK, safe, legal and rare. I guess that makes sense. And then as soon as it started being like pro abortion, I was like, and I'm now entirely 100 percent thoroughly. I don't 